You can't follow somebody you don't know. Come on, please. You only follow people you know. Right. Once you know him, you follow him. But before you get there, something happens. Between the time that the Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to you, and now you get to know him, and the time you can really follow and become a son, there comes a process in there. There's a process called death. The flesh cannot follow. The flesh does not know how to follow. Right. Jesus says, follow me, but who is he talking to? The flesh does not f follow the Lord. The flesh rejects him. The flesh rejects him. The flesh hates him. The flesh cannot please him. No. So the flesh must be dealt with prior to you following. And here's what begins to happen. A glorious process begins where freedom comes to you from the flesh. You become free from the flesh. Now, let me, let me kind of help you understand this. This took me years to figure out. I'm still learning. I'm still experiencing what I'm teaching on tonight. After 35 years of ministry, I'm still fighting the flesh. You got to understand that Paul the Apostle was still fighting the flesh as an old man. He said, I've not yet attained. Now, but let's understand something. When you and I were born again, we were born again with a rebellious nature. We are rebels at heart. Every one of us. This rebellious nature is called the flesh. The old man. Romans 6.6 6 calls him the old man. This nature is the cause of all your trouble. The root of all your problems is this rebellious nature. Nobody wants to admit the fact you are a rebel at heart. All of us are rebels at heart. We are born with a rebellious heart. The heart is wicked, the Bible says in Jeremiah. Now let's understand something else too. On the cross, Jesus Christ became one with your rebellious nature. Now don't misunderstand me, this is important. When he became your sin, he became one with that rebellious nature. The old man on the cross was executed, destroyed. When Jesus became sin, he became the fullness of sin. Included in that was my and your rebellious nature. The old man, Romans 6, 6 calls him the old man, was crucified with Christ. That's why Paul says, I am crucified with Christ. When, when he said I am, he meant my old nature. That rebellious nature was executed. God has no program of rehab for the old nature. He doesn't send him to church. He does not teach him the scripture. God does not have a plan for the old man. God's program is execution. Kill it. I said kill it. You cannot send it to a rehab for a, some program. You cannot teach it, educate it. You cannot teach it the scripture or send it to church. He does not survive Sunday school. He is a rebel. 
The Adamic nature is a rebel. You are dealing with a rebel. I am not afraid of the devil. I mean it. I can use the same weapon on him Jesus used. I am not afraid of the world. I mean it. They don't bother me. They have no power over me unless I agree with them and go their way. You cannot be defeated by the devil unless you consent to be defeated. May I say that again? You cannot be defeated by Satan unless you consent to it. You cannot be defeated by the world unless you consent to be defeated. They cannot touch you or defeat you. Cannot. I fear only one and only one called the flesh. Because the flesh lives with me every day. He goes to bed with me. He wakes up with me. He goes into the shower with me. He's with me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I cannot get rid of him. Neither can you. That flesh is your number one enemy. That rebellious nature is your number one enemy. He's not your friend. You cannot teach him, educate him. You cannot even bring him under subjection. You got to kill him. Execution is the only answer. Our old man was executed when Jesus died. And this old man should have no power in your life. None whatsoever. Yet this old man today controls many in the church. Now, first of all, let's turn to Romans chapter 6. And read verse 1, verse 2. You must know. This is the key here. And this is what the Holy Spirit will do in your life once Jesus is revealed. Remember, He's revealed, but before you can be led, the old nature is dealt with. You know, it amazes me. Totally amazes me. I can be born again and the old man is still kicking. I can be a witness and the old man is still kicking. I can even pray and the old man is still kicking. I can begin to know Jesus and the old man is still kicking. But when that old man is dead, only then can I be led by the Spirit. Because the old man can be born again, can represent Jesus. Hear this please. The old man can be born again or can experience that experience. When the Spirit is born again, that old man is still there. He can say in Jesus' name. There's no power, but he can say it. He can even, listen, he can even begin to pray. Jesus can reveal himself to your heart, and that old man is still kicking there. But when you begin to follow, the old man doesn't know where to go. He has no clue. He's clueless when it comes to being led by the Spirit. So God commands, walk in the Spirit. Live in the Spirit. Well, you can't if the flesh is still there. The flesh must be on the cross before you can be led by the Spirit. So God amazingly calls you a child as long as the flesh is still kicking. But the second the flesh is dead, He says, you're my son now.